Hello. You can't see nothing coming out of here. He's tucking into his Kentucky Fried Chicken next to me. Nobody there. Right, normally this time of night I'm parking up. We're heading for the hills. I could have stopped there, I suppose. I could have, but cracking place to stop. I reckon he's Eastern European. Jeez, though. Come on, what are you doing, boys? He's in. Let's get going. Oh, he's still faffing about. Yeah, normally I'd be pulling over, but um, turn left. Turn left. <coughs> Got a bit of time left. It's only ten to five. So show willing. Don't take the piss, and you'll get looked after. You'll be invited back. I'm here next week. And if I stopped here. If I stop here tonight, I could have stopped here. They probably wouldn't have liked it too much, but I could have stopped here. Because <clears throat> I've got enough time to get back down. But if I turned around and said, oh, look, I'm tired, I'm going to stop here. Is that? If I suppose all this traffic come from? Blimey, Riley. Oh, come on, are you kidding me? He only just fitted in that car. Great, we can go. Well, I'm going. So, um... Yeah, I could have stopped, but ugh. I'd have actually been doing myself out of money if I had. After 200 yards, bear left, M40, then take Bear's the left. Away. So um, there's there's no real no reason to do it. And there's no tinternet here. Bush. I may as well get on down the road and have a clean sweep on the docks tomorrow morning. Left, Push the hours out. Motorway. Come on, don't stop. Jeez, oh. Bloody lights are green. The sun. The back 
of a helicopter in the back of that transit van. It was a helicopter body. So I grabbed myself something to eat. I had a um, tandoori chicken baguette and a hot chocolate. Starving. I haven't really eaten much today. So we should miss all the traffic now. So you should, it's five o'clock. Uh, maybe. Might get held up in it a bit. But if we do, we do. Nothing I can do, Scooby Doo. Cut the miles, stay in this lane, come off on the A34. You know the drills. How many times have you been down here with me? Probably remember the potholes better than I do. Well, made the most of it, boys and girls. a few trips up from uh, Aberdeen to uh, up to uh, Aberdeenshire what is this guy doing I know what this guy's doing he's doing about 50 mile a bloody hour she's a oh, woman if you can't drive at 70 mile an hour on a motorway you shouldn't be on it now that sounds maybe a bit harsh, but no, you're a hazard. I shouldn't have to be overtaking you, not on a truck. Clean that up. <clears throat> the sun's in my eyes. Well, put some bloody glasses on there. Time today, I got a bit emotional thinking about the uh, new house. Yeah, it's uh, it's a bit of a dream. And never in my wildest dreams would I, uh, would I ever think that we would achieve it. It's uh, well, say I didn't think that we wouldn't achieve it. I just um, I don't know, I, I, I wasn't sure that, I just wasn't sure that it would happen, I've got to be honest, I just didn't think it would happen, I thought there'd all, always be a reason why we wouldn't do it, you know, it'd always be something, and that's fine. Take the exit. But, uh, you know, we've both had these. You know, we've been together 10 years now. And we said right at the very beginning that this wasn't. This, this, this is, you know, when we, because uh, <coughs> when I met Kira, <coughs> she was just moving into the house. She just bought it. And um, she was still at her old house she wanted a fresh start and it happened to be a fresh start with me we met she'd already decided and bought the house it took two or three months to go through 
and then um, I moved in the same time as her and I never left. Take the exit. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, but we always said, you know, she said to me, so this isn't, this isn't the, the, you know, this isn't where we end up. You know, we've, we've got to, we've got to make some plans. This is to get the kids through school and uni. And, uh, and that's what we did. That's what we did. And I went along with that. I was happy with that. And, uh. I knew that we had a plan uh, and the first plan as I've said quite a few times was going to France that didn't quite pan out because of Brexit it totally cocked it up really to be honest After 400 yards, right so uh, that about, wasn't ever gonna that wasn't gonna exit, be a thing towards Oxford. so uh, the next thing we came up with was either Wales or Scotland and uh, we sort of narrowed, we sort of ruled out Wales reasonably quickly, I think. Every now and again we'd see something that we quite liked, but it, yeah, it didn't quite hit. It would have done, but it wouldn't have wouldn't have hit the spot, you know? You know, I mean, we've all done it, haven't we? When we've gone to a house and we've gone, yeah, this is the one. You can't quite put your finger on why. And we've refined our search so many times now that we know exactly what we're looking for and what we're not looking for. We know the things that we don't want. We know, we know, um, um, we know exactly what we're looking for. And this, this more than meets everything that we need or want. It's got everything, absolutely everything. In fact, I think it's got more. There's usually a trade-off, isn't there? No, right but the not with this one. And take the third exit, A34, towards Oxford. It's occurring, no one's going to jump out in front of me. Exit A34. Good God alive, man. He's a big lad. He's a big fella in that car. Jeez, oh, his belly's nearly hitting the dashboard, man. I'm fat, but. I'm not fat shaming, but he's a big, big big boy. You can see the old Picasso squatting down a bit. He's half sat on her side. Right, we're going to bimble on down. He's telling me I'm going to get there about quarter to 6.46, which is good. 15 minutes to fill up. Into the yard. Should be done and dusted by just after 7 o'clock. Forward day. Right, I'll speak to you later on. Hello. <coughs> Hello. Time now, 1807. It's getting dark. I'm going to think this time, 1807 next week, clocks will have gone back. Clocks go back on Sunday. That's, so that gives you an idea of how far behind I am. Clocks go back this Sunday. So this will be just after five o'clock. Oh my word. So I don't mind if I'm home, don't bother me in the slightest. <clears throat> I don't like being out working in it, nor driving in it. Makes for a long day when you're driving. Driving for long periods in the morning and you're still driving in the dark at night makes for a long day it's 
So we've got about 25 mile to go. Stop, get some diesel. About a quarter of the tank left. Accelerate. Just make you wonder what goes through people's heads sometimes. Because they can clearly accelerate. Look at them go now. Current Sutton Scotney. We're not stopping. Dash for the cash. I've only done six hours, thirty three drive all day today. I've only driven 19 hours all week. So it's not like I've had a hardcore week. Tucked up in bed. Ugh. I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea when I get finished. And that'll be me. Traffic pouring out of Southampton. Oh, Southampton and Winchester, Southampton really. Southampton, Portsmouth maybe. Worked out. I did sight up. I was five this morning. So uh, uh, fourteen hour day. Not too shabby. an easier day tomorrow. Don't know what time I'm going to finish tomorrow though. So, 
yeah, hopefully the card, I'll have enough time to get the card in at quarter five tomorrow morning. Every day as I've got up earlier and earlier and earlier. Speed on. Um, so yeah, card in at quarter to five on the key for five. Box off, box on. <coughs> Head up to Northampton. I haven't looked to see where about in Northampton it is. I have to get up there early. The red line for breakfast. I doubt I'll get that early. I doubt I'll be that lucky to get round the docks. Never know. It might surprise me. I'll be round in five. Out by six. It'll take me four hours to get up there. We might be lucky. Or it'll be breakfast and chill with Greg's. One or the other. See what time we get. That time in the morning there could be all sorts of fun with me. So that's about it for the day really. Um, I'm just, I'm saying, I'm just going to head back into Southampton. I'm going to get some diesel, fill the truck up. I've got um, down to about a quarter of a tank. Nearly a quarter of a tank. So top it up, up to Northampton and back again. And um, I might go on the quay when I get back, who knows. I don't know whether I've got this truck next week or not. We will find out at some point. So I'm going to call it a day here, eh? Um, I don't think there'll be anything down the docks to record. Oh, Belgium. Been, been a bit well I always said isn't it boring's good because it means I've got no problems you know you know when I'm scraping a barrel when I'm moaning on about losing a glove and a sausage but that's what it's like this company is just everything's in place nothing's a there's no real dramas left alone to get on with the job. I've got a message today just saying, oh, what time do you reckon you'll be down tomorrow? Um, we've, got a, we've got a Northampton for 10 o'clock, we're just wondering whether that's, um, whether that's doable or not. So I worked out and I sent a message back saying, yeah, doable, VBS 5 to 6, job done. He went, cheers, thank you very much. Speak to you later. That was it, job done. Easy. That's how it should be, you know. You're, you're, you're asking the, you're relying on the driver to make the decisions as to. Oh well, the first man. No, I had two messages. The first one was, how far do you think you'll get back down tomorrow, today? So I sent a message back saying, I should get back to the yard, mate. That was like, oh, okay. Um, we got you planned in for ten o'clock Northampton. Is, do you reckon you'll be able to do that? I went back. Give us a, no, no, let's give us a five to a six and I'll make it happen. Oh, brilliant, cheers. No, it's, it, you know, it's not, um, it's just that easy. It's not, you know, this is, this is, we got you planned in, but, um, and you're going to have a five to a six or a six to a seven or a four to a five VPS. It's a question of, do you think you'd be able to do that? My decision, if I'd turned around and said no, then he would have gone, okay, we'll sort something else out. But, yeah, I could do that. To be totally honest with you, I probably would have preferred to go a bit further. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Let's just see what goes on here.
we go. Someone to my left. How close are they? Oh, I'm trying to get into my lane, I think. Bloody hell. Take the exit. A two seventy two. Spitfire Link. Lane markings aren't very clear going around here. You gotta know where they are. Yeah, that's what I like about working for this lot. Just, just easy. Mind you, you did get a bit stressed when I said, I hope you haven't forgotten his ad blue key. There's a lot of effing and jeffing going on. I won the ad blue key. It was, well, it was the ad blue key and also the conlock key. I reminded him three times. <laughs> so I wonder why I hadn't said nothing. He came out, he came out with a key, gave it to me, he was absolutely fine. <laughs> Anyone else, you know, do you know, unless you know the bloke, you'd have thought he was having a go here. But he just doesn't have a way with words. Anyway, yeah, I think that's about it. Cruising on in. So, uh, is there anything else? Oh, see, the thing is, I think of loads of things to say when I'm not on the, when I ain't got the camera rolling. And then, um, as soon as the camera starts rolling, everything's gone out of me. I'm going to leave it here. I'll speak to you all tomorrow at probably around 5 o'clock in the morning. I'll speak to you later.